walnut, mahogany, cypress, pine. We're gonna see which one swims best. All right, so we got the walnut, added a little bit more weight in the front, took some more out of the back. And it's got a nice slow sink now and a very consistent back and forth movement on the half crank. You can twitch it, but it does have a tendency to roll, uh, which may not be a bad thing, but a little inconsistency there. All right, next up is the Cypress. Again, I took a little bit of weight out of the back. And that is a very, very slow sink now. It really wants to come in head up. The only way I can think of to fix that is to completely drill out the back, maybe add more weight to the front. Uh, but there's not much, you know, space for me to add weight, maybe like in between those two. Uh, the movement is good, but I just want that head down a little bit more. So at least the shape is right. All right, going with the pine here. We took weight out of the back of this, uh, added some weight to the front, and it's moving nice. Uh, same deal with the cypress, it, it's head up, tail down. The only thing I can think of to do is add more weight to the front and I might be able to get a better movement out of it. But this one's closer than it's ever been. By far closer than it's ever been. I mean look at that movement on the jerk. That's wonderful. I like that. All right, so, so pine is improving. And I've done nothing to the mahogany. I haven't taken any weight out, haven't done anything with it. So we'll just throw this again to see how it compares to the ones that have been adjusted. Uh, it's still the most consistent and evenly uh, moving bait. It doesn't, it does a little bit of head up, but I'm above the water by a few feet, so that might be a part of it. Ah, look, a goose fight. Ignore the goose fight, look at my bait. Yeah, this thing is spot on right away. I'm, I, I like the way this moves. Because the walnut is working good uh, with the weight taken out of the back and uh, nothing else adjusted, I'm going to leave it as is. I'm going to sand it down, clean it up, and get it ready for a uh, final uh, clear coating and painting along with the uh, mahogany. As for the pine and the cypress, I drilled two more holes in the front to try and get that head down. I think that if I put a little bit of weight into that head area, it'll get this to behave a lot better.
here's some bonus footage. This is a cedar bait that I took a lot of time to build. It's a three piece laminated bait and uh, I put the weight internally rather than just through the bottom. And uh, it's really, really impressive. So maybe there's something to be said about taking your time with construction rather than the type of wood that you use. Then again, I did not test the cedar uh, in the same method. Only because I, I don't have any cedar that is the same thickness as those other woods. But, wow. What a bait. 